Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Virgos. And this is just a little weekend check-in for you. I will be using my Robin Wood tarot deck and then I'll pull you a card from my Oracle of Shadows and Light deck and see what message she has for you. So, Virgo, let's see what messages we have for you. So Virgo, this is for you. The Ace of Swords, Mental Clarity. The Temperance card, Patience or Balance is Needed in Your Environment. The Ten of Swords, something ended painfully for you. What happened? The Justice card, something legal. Was it a divorce? Was it, you know... Whatever it was, it ended, but most likely it was fair all across the board. The sun card, whatever, whenever it ended or whatever happened there in the past with that situation, it brought you happiness. It brought you inner strength. It brought you good fortune. <laughs> and it brought you some money. This is the seven of pentacles. Okay, you're now starting to see it. It's coming fast. The Eight of Wands and the High Priestess. You need to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. We got the Knight of Cups, the Hermit, and the Star. I say. I mean, okay, we look at the obvious here, the Ten of Swords, this was some kind of ending, you know, I mean, maybe that's the foundation, you know, right now, but it don't seem to be bothering you too much. It really doesn't. You got the Knight of Cups, it seems like somebody's coming in and bringing you some offers. You got the Hermit and you got the Star card. You got to keep the faith and the hope. Keep it alive and keep your eye on the prize. You don't know what's coming for you. You know? Don't you ever give up. You keep going no matter what. So let's see here. So what does the shadow and light oracle have for Virgo? Mend the Broken Heart Fairy, Healing from Heartache. Hmm, might be kind of fitting, huh? Card number 36. When you have heartache, it's important to treat yourself well. Take time away from the flurry of shoulds you are, all, you are so often confronted with. Why not take some time to snuggle on the couch with a favorite old movie and have a sniffle? Have a long, comforting bath and be sure to make a promise to yourself to let close people who are worthy of your love. 
And be sure to make a promise to yourself to let close people who are worthy of your love. That doesn't make sense to me. But I guess what it means is, to, is, is to the people who are worthy of your love to let them come close to you. It is not about being bitter or guarded, but you are a sensitive and tender, sweet being. And some people are just not. So now it's not the time for harshness, soft blankets, sweet dreams, long baths, and the reduction of the harsh energy around you are best. Then the mend a broken heart fairy can fly in, in to soothe you. You will feel her presence and she will lift the pain until all that is left is sweet, gentle wisdom. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon. Bye.